Hey everyone, today I'm going to be sharing my very first go at a scratch build spaceship from recycled items from around the house. I was inspired to do my own scratch build spaceship from watching another YouTuber's channel, Create Sci-Fi, Anthony Ferraro. If you have not seen his channel, check him out. He's very entertaining, very energetic, so I had to give it a shot myself. This was a fun project. The first thing I would say, just have fun with it. You know, don't try to overthink what you're doing. But I wanted to share what it looks like at the moment. As you can see, it probably looks like you know a pile of garbage, just kind of you know glued together. I'm hoping with a little bit of paint and a little bit of TLC, this pile of recycled goodness is going to turn into a badass spaceship. First, I would just kind of point out. Um, where it started the body of the spaceship came from a downy fabric softener bottle the items I, that I've used the the rocket boosters here that was a bottle that I used for both rockets these were the like the morning breakfast uh, boost type drinks back of the rockets these were medicine cups that I used uh, for right here the see-through ones and then also I just used bottle caps for the inside of the rockets the front this right here is just a spout from a liquid detergent bottle um, I just thought it was really cool it just kind of looked like something that would be in the front of a spaceship to me I just went ahead and just uh, hot glue gunned this to the front of this bottle um, this piece was just a random you know plastic piece that I had sitting around in my uh, bits and pieces the top I used a lot of old components from an old hard drive from an old computer that we no longer use see here that's what these are this is the front of a um, I believe the disk drive, some of the cord containers, plastic things in that. Um, this came from the hard drive. That came from the hard drive. This is obviously a mouse, recycled. Um, used some pin caps to put inside of it. This was a wireless mouse. Some random junk that I had from an old toy. This came from inside of a hard drive. That, actually, these little plastic pieces came from inside the hard drive. This was a little toy piece that I found in the right here that also came from a hard drive. Now the bottom, the bottom of this, as you can see right here, this also came from a hard drive. This piece came from a hard drive. This piece is off of a bottom of a bottle which it was the bottom of this bottle, which is kind of like a ocean spray uh, drink bottles where I use this. Um, these, this one, and this piece came from insulating bushings. Um, bought this at a uh, Habitat for Humanity restore. Got these for like 25 cents. I mean, anything plastic like this are just awesome to use. Um, the back of the rocket, this is from a, a juice bottle. This is a fruit cup, Dole fruit cup. Um, as you can see, it's kind of perfect for a rocket booster. This piece right here came from the top of the mouse. These pieces, these are the, um, the wall. You drill a hole into the wall and you put the screw into the plastic piece. These little plastic pieces here were the mini light adhesive clips. Um, we bought these years back on clearance after Christmas. Really haven't used them, thought this would be perfect. Um, the little white, white plastic pieces, those came out of a CE Tech baseboard core channel accessory pack. Flat gray primer is the color I'm looking for on this one, so. Thank you. 
now we have the painted version of the recycled goodness that now I call my badass spaceship. I love that gray tone to this. It makes it look more like that, um, that rocket ship that you'd see in a, a sci-fi movie. This is the top. This is the bottom of the spaceship. Like I said, I really like how the gray primer came out on this project. And now just need to get to painting the rocket boosters black. Now we have our rocket boosters black with that burnt black look to the back of the rockets themselves. It really came out really well. I, am, I really do love how the bottom and where you can see the black on that gray where it just looks like it's burnt, um, which you would probably see in a, in, in a rocket or you know a jet booster when that flames come out and they burn the, um, the metal around the rockets. Now to do a little bit of weathering on the ship itself, I'm just going to add a little bit of black paint, acrylic paint with water mixture. I'm just going to spread this out throughout the ship, wipe it down with a paper towel to give it that weathered, you know, the old beat up, you know, spaceship, dirty, been in space, you know, hits these planets, you know, picks up all the space dust and debris and just make it look just gritty and, and just uh, you know make it more badass from my experience what I, what i've got gained from this and, and other projects that i've done with weathering you know there is no wrong or right way um, j j again just try to have fun with it you know just spread it out as best you can you know add as much as you want add as little as you want wipe it off if you don't like it um, just add a little bit of water you can kind of you know put it in the spots that maybe is too much and then you can just kind of redo it. Um, if it's not enough, you can always just add more. And like I said, all you see me doing is just adding just more paint as I go and dab it off. Um, I would probably say don't don't wipe as much as just kind of dab at the spots you want to take the paint off. And basically, the the weathering the the paint itself, the watered down paint, will do the work for you. Now to add some detail to some of the aspects of the ship, I'm going to paint the, the guns on the sides um, black first and then add some metallic silver to make them pop and stand out from the ship. Now I'm going to add some metallic gold to the, what I would say, the propellers of the, the rockets themselves. I'm kind of hoping that it makes it stand out more from the solid black and then also make it to where it takes away from the the plastic recycle and the wording still on the bottom of the bottle that you can still see now that the black is dry on the guns on the side i'm going to go ahead and add just a light metallic silver and then also add a light metallic gold to the back of the rockets to where it kind of also brings out that burnt look to the back of the engine just give a little bit of a little bit of gold there on the back as you can see it kind of blends in with the black I really like how that turned out as well with that black kind of gold look now to the final product before we get into the actual completion of the project I just wanted to go over I did add another wash to it to this ship I went ahead and added a little bit of brown to give it that rusty dirty um, this ship has been around the galaxy you know more than a few times and you know it, it shows that it, it's it's lived a long life and it's still going strong the wash really did the black and the brown wash really did bring out a lot of the nooks and crannies of this spaceship you know made it pop even more I have to say I really enjoyed this project this crash build was very fun I would say to anyone if you're interested in doing one of these you know just just give it a shot just do you know just be creative have fun with it this will be the first of many I'm hoping in my armada of scratch build spaceships maybe this will inspire you to get out there and make your own scratch build spaceship thanks for watching guys I appreciate it 
Now for the close up and the flyby of this badass spaceship.